Each year at ECU, multiple blood drives are hosted by their Army ROTC unit and the American Red Cross. This semester's Welcome Back Blood Drive was held in ECU's main student center, which was built this past year. And we're expecting to get about 50. We've got 35 cadets donating and then we'll get some regular students in here as well. Each donor gives a standard pint of blood. This amount of blood has the capability to save up to three lives. Once a donor arrives at the blood drive, they'll sign in at the front table. Then they'll head to a waiting area until a Red Cross representative grabs them to go over medical paperwork. They take a sample of blood to make sure that the donor's blood levels are healthy. Then from there, the donor goes to a prospective area to have their blood drawn. If someone wants to donate but worries about passing out, the blood drive workers are well trained to handle these situations. I actually passed out last fall when I gave blood, <laughs> so I know the experience. Um, we just try to calm them down, you know, I share, I share my story with people to say like, hey, I've been through it. Um, so they really have nothing to worry about. They're very taken care of with the Red Cross. If you could not be present at this blood drive and would like to go to the next one, be on the lookout on Facebook and Instagram for ECU's Army ROTC, where they'll post about the event which will occur next semester. In Greenville, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.